Here's how to get started planning a simple trip using RV Trip Wizard, part of RV Life Pro, which also includes the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app. We're already logged in and now we'll click on the new trip button. We'll give it a name here and set our leaving date using the calendar. Hit create. It'll ask us to choose a starting location. There are three options here. Use your current location, use search, or use the map to set a custom location. I'm going to use the search and click on start here. Next you'll get this screen to enter or confirm your trip settings. We'll be working a lot in the trip and research tabs here. RVers using RV Trip Wizard on a tablet, mobile device, or smaller computer screen may see the trip and research tabs along the bottom instead of the side. I also want to point out the driving radius feature. It's really helpful in choosing stops that are within your comfortable driving distance. You can customize your distances by clicking on map settings, driving radius, and then trip settings. You can enter in whatever minimum, middle, and maximum distances are right for you. Some RVers may prefer the advanced radius view or to turn off the driving radius completely. I'll leave on the classic radius. Now we're ready to add some stops. Our first stop will be in Corpus Christi. You can zoom in on your target location like this or type it into the search bar. If you don't see any campgrounds on your map, click on the Show Campgrounds button in the top right. Click on the Research button and in the Parks tab we can start to narrow down our campground search. There are a number of categories and filters to choose from in RV Trip Wizard. For our stay in Corpus Christi, I'm going to filter for a park rating of 4 stars and higher, pull through sites, and full hookups. Now I can see there are a few options here on the map to look at more closely. Select park details to see more information on each campground, including a photo gallery. If it looks good, click Add to Trip and enter in the number of nights for your stay. Now you can see that our first campground has been added in our Trip tab. This trip isn't over yet. After Corpus Christi, we'll head up to Austin. Search for or zoom in on the target area and go back into the Research tab. I'll hit Clear Filters down at the bottom, and this time I'll filter for State Parks. I'll add this one to the trip and enter in three nights. Again, you can see how it's been added to your itinerary in the Trip tab. Now that we're done adding our campgrounds, we might want to route back home. Click on Round Trip Options in the Trip tab and you'll get a couple choices. We don't want to mirror stops back through Corpus Christi, so for this trip we'll choose the direct route. And here on the Trip tab you can see that it has us heading back home. We'll need to refuel somewhere between Houston and Corpus Christi. Toggle the campground view off and click here to show points of interest. Back in the research tab, click on fuel and it will automatically show all gas station options. Or maybe you just want to see Pilot, Flying J, and Loves. Here's one right in the middle of our first drive. I'll click on more details and add to your trip and use the drop down menu to add it after Houston. If I accidentally choose the wrong order, I can go back into the Trip tab and click and drag to fix it. Now if I center our first campground, that next drive to Austin looks a bit long. I'll search for a rest area. Go back into the Research tab and clear all the previous filters. I'll click on Rest Areas and I see I've gotten a prompt to zoom in for the search to work. No problem, just zoom in a bit and set that filter one more time. Here I can see a rest area right on my way. I'll add the northbound rest area to my trip after the first campground. Now we've got our complete trip. I'll clean up the view a little by toggling off the points of interest and the driving radius. 
Then I can click on Show Entire Trip to see my whole route. And in our trip tab, we've got our simple trip starting in Houston, then a fuel stop, first campground, rest stop, second campground, and back home. When you're ready to navigate your trip, just open up the RV Life app on your phone or mobile device, tap on the red menu bar, and then choose RV Trip Wizard to see your planned trips. Here's our simple trip right here, ready for us to get on the road. And there we have a completed simple trip in RV Trip Wizard in just a few minutes.